I'd probably pull my kids out of the school, out of the district, and um, find some other educational opportunity for them. Parents speaking out tonight at several elementary schools in the Alpine School District on the chopping block tonight. Thanks for joining us for 2 News at 10. I'm Mark Cabell. And I'm Heidi Hatch. An emotional issue for sure. This is an update to a 2 News crisis in the classroom investigation. We first told you about this last month. It was March. The district announced five older schools in the Orem and Lehigh districts could close down, leaving some parents outraged. The district says it's necessary because of old infrastructure and declining enrollment. And tonight, the board reconsidering boundary changes and those school closings as well. Jim Spiewak was at that meeting tonight in American Fork where public comment ended about an hour ago. Jim. Yeah, it's been a very, very long night. The board just got to those agenda items that we've been talking about here. They're discussing it right now as we speak after about three hours of public comment. Here's what the night was like leading up to what the board is talking about right now. Before closing down, parents say, give us more time and options before just shutting schools down. The schools considered for closing or having the boundaries redrawn are Valley View, Sharon, Windsor, Linden, and Lehigh Elementary. Parents tonight said that the board is moving just too fast and not involving parents, teachers, and principals enough in the decision-making process. The school board is supposed to give 120-day public notice, but parents tonight claimed that didn't happen. Alicia Elba was just one of the dozens of parents who all spoke in favor of the school staying open. Elba has three kids who attend Rocky Mountain Elementary, and although that school is not on the chopping block if Linden Elementary closes Elba says that her kids will have to move schools and she says at that point she would probably yank her kids out of the district altogether. We've dedicated so much and invested so much into these schools and into building these programs and into making this some you know a great community and to just see it just get its legs yanked out from under it again is just devastating. So there's actually five different schools on the chopping block here, which means that there's five different agenda items. Right before we came out here for this report, there were a couple of the items, at least two of them, where the board had voted in favor of continuing the studying process of those closures. So they're continuing to debate it right now, but I had parents here tell me tonight that if this process continues to go forward by the board, they have a lawsuit ready to file, maybe as early as tomorrow, to try to stop that from happening. We're live in American Fork tonight, Jim Spiewak, KUTV 2 News.